coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist Kevin Orpert. Awarded the AMS Seal of Approval by the American Meteorological Society. There are so many sights to see as you walk into downtown Terre Haute. If you're downtown, uh, check out the Vico County History Center. Look at this, they're putting the Coca-Cola mural on the side of the building. You know, it's interesting to me. I, I saw them doing that. Uh, at, of course, now this one is over at the terminal. See, boy, it's such beautiful art in downtown Terre Haute. News 10 photojournalist Dorothy Goforth went out and uh, shot this video for us today. So thank you very much, Dorothy. All right, so clearing and chilly tonight. So this cold front has gone through, and that's the reason we've had some cloudiness. But now as the day has gone on, uh, the sky is clearing, so that's going to allow the temperature also to drop tonight. And uh, a sunny day tomorrow, a little bit cooler, but highs at or about average. So average this time of year is about 65, 64, somewhere along through there for a high. I think tomorrow will be at 67, so we'll be a little bit above. And actually, there is the possibility of some rain for part of Friday. So here's a look at the Storm Team 10 Storm Tracker. First thing, I want to show you that the cloudiness still is here down in the southeast part of the News 10 viewing area, uh, but now some clearing going on. So we should have a pretty sunset tonight and looking ahead, a clear sky tonight, a chilly night, not too breezy, just a light breeze and any sort of breeze you do have will be from the north. So here's the future cast. So let's take a look at what we can expect as far as this possibility of some rain coming in. So here's midnight tonight. Then we get into tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be fine. Here's six o'clock tomorrow morning and we go to six o'clock tomorrow evening, but you'll notice a few more clouds start to come in tomorrow night and then we get to the overnight tomorrow night it becomes cloudy here's six o'clock on friday so plans on friday there are ball games going on isu has things happening uh, there are just all kinds of halloween sorts of activities so here's uh six o'clock in the morning on friday and then here's eight o'clock on friday morning here's noon on friday and look it looks like a lot of this rain is going to get out of here. Now, this is again just a model. This is a computer, so you know how those things work. But uh, for the most part, it seems to Everett and me and Brady that we're going to be able to get some rain in here and out of here fairly quickly on Friday. It's not going to be enough rain to uh, alleviate the drought problems we have and so on, but maybe settle the dust a little bit so we'll get a bit of rain and then have a pretty nice weekend. So clear and chilly tonight, 35 for the overnight low, and that's not where we ought to be, actually a little below average. And 67, sunny and cooler tomorrow. And then for tomorrow night, 48, uh, becoming cloudy. Not as chilly tomorrow night. And the seven-day forecast, well, we get into Friday. And there is that possibility of some rain on Friday. But you know what? I just don't think it's going to be an all-day rain, and I don't think it's going to drench everybody. So we should be okay.